This is directed by Roland Emmerich, who is known for his Another World movies like The Day After Tomorrow and 2012, both of which I thoroughly enjoyed. And it stars Rise Ifans, Vanessa Redgrave, David Thewlis, Sebastian Armesto, and Rafe Spall. The story of Anonymous is kind of a controversial one. It is set against the backdrop of the succession of Queen Elizabeth I and is based around the theory that Edward de Vere, the Earl of Oxford, um, was the one who penned Shakespeare's plays and actually wrote them. And supposedly in the, in the movie, what happens is that he gives his plays to a man by the name of Ben Johnson, who puts one of them on, and then an actor, played by Rafe Spall, claims that he is Shakespeare, and he basically becomes very famous, as more and more of these plays are put on. And all these plays are the ones that we all know, and for the most part, some of us love. I really had no expectations for this film. I know of Roland Emmerich's work, and I know that he's a great visual director. And for the most part, this movie was okay, but I was really expecting more from him. The positives for this movie is that it's a very great looking film. It's got beautiful cinematography, uh, great direction, and for the most part, good acting, though it sort of slips in the latter part of the film and the writing is good. The film opens up very uniquely and it's kind of hard to explain how it opens, but suffice to say that it has a very odd opening. That kind of caught me off guard and sort of was an interesting way to bring you into the storyline. The negatives are that this film is really kind of dull. The story becomes very complex and I lost focus on what was happening. There were too many characters, too many different storylines, and I was just really confused as to what exactly was going on. And I just lost interest in the story itself and the characters. There are a lot of dialogue scenes that run on for way too long. And you kind of start to doze off and forget what they're talking about. Um, there is some action in the movie and there are some big set pieces. I give Anonymous two and a half out of five stars. I'd recommend a rental.